I'm speaking from my personal instance, like the gym is busier than ever. The, the, the uptake and, and people have got to be honest, people have seen that we was there for the community during COVID and during the pandemic and, and they've bought into it. They've seen the changes we did. We didn't sit back. Um, we didn't wait for the gym to gather dust and come and dust it off two minutes before we was allowed back in. We, we, we put it to work and we, we used the time well. People come back and people are loving the place and obviously I'm absolutely gutted. Think we'd ever have to do this truly didn't i'm absolutely gutted we're doing this video i think the story's got to be told people need to know uh, people are going to want to know we've been in a battle now for about 18 months regarding the gym and what's going to happen it's been taken over by the developers we've been fighting our hardest to try and keep it alive it's getting down the line so we're coming down today we're going to make the decision that enough is enough now we've got uh, things are happening people start to know there's gossiping going all around the city everybody's wanting to know people want to be nosy people are actually concerned and worried people have been down here 40 years and potentially not only are we losing our home but they're losing their home as well it's been every single thing they needed it's been a lifeline for them it's been a place to release it's been a community it's been somewhere that can make friends family lifelong friends and family make their gains make their weight loss journey it's, it's, it's been everything anything for so many people it's going to be a crazy week i'm coming down to see ray i was hoping we was going to have a better victory and some more positive news but we haven't oh, that big boy. <laughs> um what you got to tell me look um we're trying our hardest it's been it's been down everybody's talking everybody's <laughs> kind of gossiping about what's happening um it's not going as positive as we wanted okay. they're not playing ball with us um it has been picked up by some press they've come to us so i think it's going to go out there so we're going to have to comment now we're going to have to start so ultimately i think next week's going to be a week where we're going to have to do a press release to say look we're having a problem the gym might be okay. go um we're going to have to try and just tell the members that we're doing everything we can like we are doing and i know you have it i know that um and and ultimately see I think we're going to have a bit of a battle on our hands all week. It's going to be a bit chaotic. Everybody's going to, there's going to be a lot of people upset. Yes, I'm one of them. I imagine the press are going to be down. We'll, uh, we'll get him with his... Uh, I'll have to have a haircut for that bit, Luke. If you do, come again. <laughs> get me anti-wrinkle cream on. It's come sooner than we thought, but let's, um, let's see what the next week's going to come out with. Yes. We'll see and go from there. Yeah, some sad times coming out of the isn't there? Very sad times. I, hope, yeah. I, I know when it comes... To be near the end, um, I don't know how much pain I'm going to be in. Because I've had checks to Wednesday. I know it's Wednesday. Listen, I don't even want to, like, this is why I haven't been down here. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I've got fat, I've got, like, because when I come down here, it's real. Like, mm. you're here every day. Mm. Like, you're having to be here. It's, I've got an easy gig. I, I'm busy. I can go in the rest of the world. I can travel over my businesses. And I can pretend like this ain't happening here. Mm. But see, I, I, I can switch off though, Luke. That's one of my strengths. Yeah. And it does hurt me. Obviously, I put a brave face on. Well, look, the gym's as busy as it's ever been. I know, it has. You know, I mean, that's what's sad as well. And that's so. These last couple of weeks, Luke, I said, well, all the members have been picking up. Let's see. They're, new, they're all new. They're all new, yeah. Yeah, all new members. <laughs> it's real like it and you know what it's personal as well like it's personal for me and you know because i'm in the fight and I'm, I'm in the middle of it like I, I it doesn't quite sink in and then i come to days like this with ray and it's fucking real like my gym might go like genuinely my gym might go <sighs> Let's see, a crazy week ahead.
We was trying to look at the best of the bad situation. We was looking hopeful that the new developers would be um, forthcoming with us and, and be honest with us and open with us and, and hopefully would have a, a kind of future with them because we've been seen to be in the building for so long. We thought they would recognise that and they would want us in the building. What impact does this gym have on like, the wider community? Yeah, I think if COVID has taught us anything, it showed that um, health and wellbeing, mental health um, are massively aligned. The gym's a massive part in aiding uh, mental health and helping people. Since the press has kind of gone out there and we've kind of, and, and people now know and we've confirmed the rumours are true, the, the love and support that the gym's had, and that shows testament of why it can't go and why we've got to fight, why we're right to fight, because ultimately it means so much to so many people. That's all, that's all you can do. <laughs> <laughs> How much was the barbers, Ray? Did you go barbers? That's wife. It's the wrinkles, they um reply to them. But if they don't get back to me by Wednesday, then that's when it goes out, so Wednesday. Yeah. And later so what is there saying anyway. What did you say to the developers? So I sent them an email saying obviously we're gonna go and speak to you guys at the gym. Um what is your response? Are you Yeah. They don't even get through to me, so... Ridiculous. I knew it was going to be bad. I knew we was going to get a lot of noise. It was going to make a lot of noise. It was going to upset a lot of people. A lot of people were going to be behind us. Never in my wildest dreams did I think it was going to be this bad. Or get out of control this much. It's been an overwhelming the amount of support we've got. We're just rushing now. Just finished training. It's been a long day, but we're rushing now to... Go on, Aaron Shaw on BBC Radio Nottingham. So we're going to rush there. We're late. So hopefully he still lets us in. <music> Trying to balance everything. Obviously this, I've been avoiding as long as I can, like with this going to the press and stuff, but we've put it out. We're getting terrorised by this developer. And Why are you trying to avoid putting it out? I don't want to upset the members. Like, that's the biggest thing. Like, it's, it's crazy that... Was there two sides to that, though? And I'm not asking, I won't ask you this and stuff on air. Is it two sides to go, well, if you say it might, you know, be sold or something like that? No, no, they've, they've bought it, so they've gone. So the, the property's gone. Yeah. But we've got right to renew our lease, and, yeah. the, and the, the developers just bullied everyone in the building. Yeah. Issued everybody eviction notices, and everyone's ran off scared. He's a big developer. The bullies come with big legal letters and big charges. Yeah. But look, we're not a two minute, we can't move in two minutes. It's a yeah. big, it's a big, do you know what I mean? It's not, some of the kit's been in there 45 years. It ain't yeah. leaving. Um, so, and after we fought after COVID and stuff, like, and what we did for that, and everyone's coming back now and they're, they're happy. Yeah. And the gym's as busy as it's ever been. We can't just roll over. Like, yeah. I can't. And I wouldn't be the man I am if I, if, if I didn't fight for the gym. Um, it's my baby, man. I've had it 10 years. Yeah. It was my first ever business. And it's a household name, man. Everybody knows Castle Gym in yeah. Nottingham. You're going to hear from Luke Wilmot. Now, Luke is the founder and the owner of a gym. A gym that was established in 1981. A gym that is believed to be the oldest gym in Nottingham because it's facing a major battle for its future after the site was sold to developers. Actually, Luke, I'm going to ask you now, is it Nottingham's oldest gym? That's a bold claim. Well, to be honest, I think we can even claim to be not, uh, the, the oldest hardcore gym in the whole of the UK. So that's our kind of our tagline. But yeah, we're, um, we're if, if we're not the oldest in the whole of the UK, we're definitely up there and uh, we've definitely got the reputation. I like that. That's, that's good. That's a good answer. Before I get into what's happening... Luke, you were someone that spent a fair bit of time on BBC Radio Nottingham during the pandemic where you were talking about trying to stay open, what you can do and um, 
you and I had so many conversations actually off air um, when you were still doing the breakfast show and stuff here where I was going, oh, mate, the gym. The, the, the gym was the first thing to go, which, like, it... That was the hardest for me because what it does not only for me physically but what it does for me mentally is massive. Like you says, them walks, them bike rides, yeah, everybody was out in fresh air but they just didn't hit where people needed them to hit. Do you know what mm. I mean? It didn't quite fill that void that people were missing and... Look, we've done amazing. We've come through the pandemic. And people have got to be honest. People have seen that we was there for the community during COVID and during the pandemic. And and they've bought into it. They've seen the changes we did. We didn't sit back. Um, we didn't wait for the gym to gather dust and come and dust it off two minutes before we was allowed back in. We we, we put it to work and we, we used the time well. People come back and people are loving the place. And obviously, I'm absolutely gutted. We're in a position where the gym's going to be trying to force to be closed. The building's been sold. Um, the gym's been in this building well over 40 years. Um, some and whereabouts of the, is that? It's on Castle Boulevard. So I think some of the kit's never even going to leave the building, to be honest. It's, it's stuck to it. Yeah. Um, so what happens now? Because we, we, we see this all the time now where developers come in, they buy uh, sites, they buy units, and they go, well, typically it'll be like student flats or something like that, right? <laughs> um, but but they, they, they get these units. So for someone who's a tenant, is there not kind of like a process here where it's like well hold on you've got a lease on this place we've bought the land but it comes with these businesses which have a lease they're putting a lot of pressure on us there was a lot of build- i mean there's, there was nearly a dozen businesses in this building we're the last one there everyone was out i mean we was out from the 12th of january mm. we're still there and we've got a duty of care to our our community to, to, to stay fighting. It's been overwhelming, like, what we've done and coming on here and Jimmy you know I mean? was on BBC, it um, was on Knots TV um, yesterday. It, the community getting behind us, it, that's what makes us realise why we're doing the right thing to fight. This may sound a trivial question or whatever, but what does happen now? Well, look, we're, we're doing our best. We're putting our best foot forward. We're trying to speak to the developers. We are trying to explore other options. Um, as you can understand, like... We're not a small home gym. We're not. A, we're not a small PT studio. Yeah. Um, we've got thousands of square foot. We've got, I think, nearly thirty tons of kit in this gym. Imagine like, moving a gym. Um, man, hopefully, if, <laughs> if anything does go, down, and we're calling on the community to help us move. Let's. Uh, <laughs> and what's pretty crazy is, in the last seven days, we've had nearly twenty-five new members join, mm-hmm. and since the news is hit, people are coming to join. So, number one, that's supporting us and getting behind us. But I think also number two is. If we are going, I think they're using it as a a reason to come and, and utilise the facility while it's still there. They're taking advantage of it, which is nice. Look, if it's going to go, it's going to be heartbreaking, but let's get down. Let's 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 utilise this facility that has been there for decades and decades mm. because ultimately, if it does go, we can't come back. So imagine a, a facility like Castle Gym, what's been there with decades, generations of family members and, and people are coming and we're just getting Ray, who's been with me now over 40 years. His son, Bren, now has joined the gym. The next generation, and it's holding more precedent for us to to stand up and fight. I'm a large guy, but for once in my life, we're little guys compared to these developers. I like that. I think the support we've had is amazing as well. I want to thank everybody. And people, new and old, we've got students who used to come here five or six years ago are now in the jobs, they're in their adult lives, and they're putting on Facebook, they're putting on Instagram. Look, this was their home when they was in the city. They're gutted to see it go. Yeah. So um, it's been nice, but very, very, very upsetting for me. It's, uh, It's a close subject to my heart. I love that. Right, well, cheers for coming on anyway. <laughs> Wicked, man. Thank you for coming out. All right, my brother. Thanks for having us, yeah? Okay. See you later, Aaron. Aaron's sound, like, it's the first time I met him. I've been on the breakfast show, like, we've been, like, been regular, like, a dozen times now. We've been on the radio. Um, they're, they're good for the city. They're, 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 they advocate small businesses. This is what we are. Um, it's a reason why I love the city. Um, but, yeah, very sad. I wish she was here for better times. We're gonna still try and do whatever we can to keep Castle Gym alive. We're gonna do, we're, gonna, we're still pushing different avenues of what can potentially happen and what potentially can be. Hopefully there's some exciting news to come. But as of today, the gym is going to close and the gym's gonna close on the 30th of November. I feel good to about it come down here, sat down here, the news is only right. The amount of thousands and thousands of times I've sat in this room on my own, late nights, long days, early mornings, and the gym's going. And it's gonna be a Sunday. So let's keep tuned. We're gonna 
put some press out. We're going to see some responses, we're going to see some feelings. Um, I'm not looking forward to it, but let's go.